hi for those that uh, don't know me I'm Lala um, I'm Puerto Rican uh, born and raised on here in New York um, learned most of what I know about my Puerto Rican roots from my mom um, I, people have been asking me to do uh, the coquito cupcake recipe for a minute so I'm actually gonna do with you guys today is uh, a take on it and this is just testing I'm just testing a recipe to see how it goes so just join me in this journey and let's just take it from there okay I'm gonna show you exactly what my, what my ingredients are okay so if you see here I am using because I don't have uh, unsalted butter at the moment I'm just gonna use imperial margarine for this recipe I am using uh, half a cup no I'm sorry a cup of self-rising flour half of a cup half a cup of uh, sugar uh, three eggs separated make sure there is absolutely no yolks on your whites and make sure there is no shells try to keep your eggs at room temperature you have a quarter of a cup of coquito I'm going to be using vanilla extract I'm using pure vanilla don't use the the, the non-pure and I'm using um, coconut extract um, and so those are my ingredients if you wanted to write them down okay so in my mixer I'm adding my margarine um, it is if you could tell it is soft so it's nothing hard and if you're using butter which I prefer um, make sure it's softened and I'm going to add my sugar okay so we're using the paddle attachment if you don't have that you can use a hand mixer and slowly well first of all let's um, actually get it plugged in because I didn't plug it in but um, what we want to do is start it slowly And increase the speed and you want to beat this until your butter and sugar are light and airy you want to cream it really well as you can tell it's been whipping I don't want to stop the machine to this we're gonna add our egg yolks one at a time in my case one of them broke so let it be Add the, the rest. Make sure you get all the amount of yolks in there. So we're going to continue to beat on high. At this point, um, I would like you to stop the machine just this once just so you can scrape everything in let it continue beating and making sure that everything is incorporated okay all we want to do is get everything going and now we're gonna let this whip for approximately I'm gonna say let's give this another um, give it another two minutes okay it's been about two minutes and we're gonna lower the temp at this point we're gonna grab a measuring spoon because I did not want to do this outside of camera and we are going to incorporate one teaspoon of vanilla extract at this point so one teaspoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of coconut extract the vanilla that I'm using is more of a paste but you can just use extract one teaspoon of coconut extract at this point this mixture smells like heaven okay 
as this is beating, I just want to show you. I have a very thin, thin, thin sift. So I sifted my my flour. You don't want any lumps. And if you put your flour without sifting, what's going to happen is that your cake is going to be a little tough. So what we're doing now is as this is 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 beating i'm gonna stop the machine just two seconds just because i want to incorporate all the actual butter that's around before i do this final step so we're gonna stop the machine for two seconds scrape it down keep it on low what we're doing is that we are taking our flour and we're gonna incorporate it on low in two stages so one we're gonna do half of the flour and we're gonna add our coquito to it all of it and now we're gonna add the rest of the flour let this mix and stop your machine do not over mix you'll get a tough cupcake Okay, so at this moment, I'm stopping the machine. Okay, now in a clean bowl, you're gonna add your whites. And you're going to put the whisk attachment and let it go until it is, it looks like snow. So you're gonna let it be. If you realize that my egg whites are nice and, and airy now. And at this point, we stop the machine. I'm going to show you. So, they're still glossy. But now what we're going to do is... We're going to take our previous mixture. We're going to take some of our whites, starting little by little, and we're going to start folding. What I mean by folding, I don't mean just to whip it. I mean you're going to come take from the, from the bottom and bring it to the top. From the bottom and bring it to the top. I should have used a bigger spatula, but I'm not going to go dirty one. So we're going to, from the bottom to the top, in the middle, all the way around until the egg whites are completely gone and you continue doing this until you do all of your whites As you can tell the mixture is not flat it's got body and if you taste this, this is amazing oh yeah oh yeah so now we're gonna start with the cupcakes so I line my cupcake molds with uh, liners and I'm gonna go ahead and I use an ice cream scoop um, I think you get better and we're gonna do that and bake them at um, 350 until um, they are completely done how long it's going to take, I'm not sure yet. Um, but do not keep opening your oven door because you'll let the heat escape. So we're going to finish these and pop them in the oven. My cupcakes are about to come out of the oven, but I just want to show you something. Um, once I'm done, I will take pictures. It's going to take a while for it to cool and everything, but... I have in the, my mixer, I have whipped cream. That's what I'm using for my, my topping. You could just use icing. In here, I have coquito. You see it? It's nice and thick. I bought these at Amazon. These are great the little droplets. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze and collect into your dropper. I want the dropper to be more full. So now I'm just going to bring it down and I'm going to squeeze and bring it back down until it collects it these are the ones that i'm using 
on my cupcakes so that way you could inject a shot of coquito right into your cupcake so again the droplet the droppers you're gonna squeeze them squeeze again and there you have you have them ready now just to show you what my cupcakes look like So these, my cupcakes just came out. You can let them cook a little longer if you want them with more color. But I just want to show you really quickly what the um, inside looks like. They're hot, but I just want to show you what the inside of this cake looks like. Look how beautiful this cake is. It's not overcooked, it's still moist on the inside. Okay, so we're gonna let them cool and just prep them for icing. This one, of course, we're just eating it like that. But it's not a sweet, sweet cupcake. But once you put your coquito in it, it's gonna make it amazing. So we just add cream into a piping bag and we're gonna just pipe right on top. And we're gonna add one of these on the sides. You can. Just for a little twist on this, you can fill these cupcakes with like a pineapple filling and it'll taste a little bit more like a pina colada. Alright, so there you go. Thanks. Please share the video.